Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, uh, I decided that I will be sharing the deck that I used to get from Victory Track to Gladiator Circuit. So this is basically my Victory Track deck for the Masochism meta. And uh, I did try out Recoil Masteries at first and you can definitely run them perfectly fine, but ultimately... I found it more comfortable for myself not to use recoil, so I adjusted the deck and then it seemed to work out better for me. And uh, so I will be going over my kind of like personal deck choices and how they performed. Without a doubt, I think uh, Juggernaut was pretty much <laughs> one of the biggest MVPs and also Spider-Man Supreme has been utterly impressive in this victory track meta for me, because in... Pretty much any meta where it's harder to parry, champions like Spider-Man Supreme, like Wong, like Longshot are always quite a bit trickier to deal with. So anyways, uh, we can see that from the get-go. Uh, well, I suppose I should be going by the classes. I thought I heard something by the door. But uh, taking a look at this, starting, so I'm using only four science champions this time around. And obviously, Human Torch is just an absolute nuke. Uh, there is no question about it. Even though you do trigger that masochism on your parries, you can quite easily out damage it. And the same thing kind of goes for Spot, where a Hardy level 2 will nuke down whoever you're going up against. So it doesn't really matter when you trigger masochism. And it's similar with Hulk. Hulk was one of the few science champions that was working out well for me. And in quite a few of the matchups, I, I was actually going for level 3 for that massive physical vulnerability. And then the final champion that I was running was Scorpion. Scorpion is significantly worse in this meta because his Petrify doesn't work. So you basically kind of have to spam the level 1 in most cases. But the poison still reduces the damage. Uh, sorry, not the damage, but the region that opponents have. So the poison... Kind of worked decently well and you were able to out damage some of the stuff but yeah um in general scorpion did not do as well as he normally does i still found it worthwhile to run him and other than that that was it so skill champions slightly more and obviously we have valkyrie because valkyrie was an absolute maniac she doesn't inflict any debuffs and uh she finished fights extremely quickly similar for, for kingpin now kingpin uh, is not as great in Masochism meta because you find it much harder to use your level 1, but he is quite a good defender because he automatically triggers Masochism himself, and he's still a great attacker with his level 2s. Obviously, then we have Nick Fury um, and Korg primarily for defense, and then Kate Bishop and Massacre. Now, the trick for using Kate Bishop primarily is not to use your heavy attacks and just basically spam your level 1s and then pause your uh, passives or trick arrow effects uh, by either hitting opponent's block or punishing their special attacks and stuff. And Massacre simply has enough damage output to overcome this 5% masochism. Not running him in Gladiator Circuit meta, but with 5% masochism you can definitely out damage whatever you're going up against, and he was one of the best thing counters. Mutant class? I'm not running Bishop, uh, I am still running Domino, I am still running Archangel, and then obviously Kitty, and Havoc. Uh, Havoc was primarily a defender, I suppose, but also offensively the reason why I added him to my deck is uh, the fact that even though you do trigger the masochism fairly frequently uh, with Havoc, once you get to level 3 at a rank 5, it was pretty much game over anyways. If he wasn't rank 5, I don't think I'd be running him, but at the rank 5 he did work out well enough for me. And then we only have four Cosmic Champions, Hercules, Nova, Alkling, and Galen. And actually Nova was one of my kind of secret MVPs, uh, primarily for dealing with Korgs, because he is absolutely amazing at destroying Korgs. So I absolutely loved him for that. And obviously he can be a nasty defender, and then people think that, you know, they will have to deal with Nova in defense. They draft some sort of Mystic Champion to deal with him, and then you just turn around and use him against the Korg. One of the best things to do. And also relatively low count attacks. I'm only running Guardian, uh, Nimrod, and Warlock. Obviously, Guardian and Nimrod primarily primary domino counters. The reason why I do not run too many tech domino counters, or why there is no Omega Sentinel, for instance, is largely because of the Mystic roster. 
because uh, Spider-Man Supreme and Absorbing Man and Juggernaut are all perfectly capable of dealing with Domino. So I use them just as often as I use anything else to take down Dominoes. Other than that, we obviously have uh, uh, Doctor Doom, Tigra, Longshot, Absorbing Man, Spider-Man Supreme, Sasquatch, uh, Mephisto, Rintra, and Juggernaut. So a relatively big Mystic Champion focus. And there's also a very decently good reason why I focused more on Mystic Champions for this Masochism meta. is because even though we cannot reduce the potency of that region, we can still neutralize it, or we can nullify it, or we can stagger it. So Mystic Champions effectively work better to counter whatever region opponents are getting, and obviously that helps feed Mystic Dispersion and makes these champions more powerful. Additionally, another reason why in Masochism meta it is you know, fairly good to have relatively more Mystic Champions is the fact that it's very, very hard to run many Science Champions or run them well. And even the ones that are, quote unquote, the most suitable for this his meta, they still don't work as well and they're not as fast because there's still some region that cannot be mitigated and still extends the fights even though it's longer. So that was kind of my underlying strategy to quickly get from Victory Track to Gladiator Circuit um, was to lean relatively heavily on the chunkier Mystic Champions of, uh, you know, my Doom, Mephisto, Rintra, and Sasquatch as my primary defenders, but also Longshot and Supreme Spidey were phenomenal in defense, and uh, because of it, yeah, uh, many of them can be used offensively and defensively, I get, you know, more kind of like drafting leeway and freedom, and it's just always good to capitalize whenever one class is kind of like significantly disadvantaged uh, then there's going to be even more the reason to run whichever class is typically you know countered by that first class so in this case science champions are not doing well with masochism at all therefore naturally mystic champions are doing better and uh, with this idea in mind you can obviously substitute some of these champions for your seven star dragon mans should you have them or for your seven star mangogs or for you know mojos or, or other big beefy mystic defenders because in this masochism meta it's very hard to run science champions so this was the strategy more or less as i mentioned i uh i'm not running recoil uh for this deck and uh, i'm primarily basically just focusing on mystic dispersion your standard willpower and nothing else, you know, too special about the master is there, I suppose. Uh, but uh, that's pretty much it. So again, I'm going to go relatively slowly through the deck. Uh, so that you guys can take the screenshots should you wish to do so. And uh, if you do have any more questions uh, about victory track meta, feel free to ask them and I am going to catch you guys soon. Bye. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about